however crazy the idea may be. Just do it. all about kbby uh, so to know what is kbby let's just get in the video come on let's know about it so what is kbby let's see about it and kvpy is abbreviated as kishore vaigyanik protsahan yojana this is a national program of fellowship in basic sciences that is conducted every year in the month of november It is funded by Department of Science and its question paper is designed by IISC Indian Institute of Science that is located in Bangalore and its main motto is to encourage students who are interested in getting into research based activities in science if you are the one who has a passion in research activities and wants to pursue basic science courses such as bsc courses or bachelor of science bachelor of statistics bachelor of mathematics or integrated msc courses or ms then you must give it a try now we shall see about the eligibility criteria of this exam so the students in three sections are eligible for this exam if you are a 11th grader who had passed the 10th examination with at least 75 percentage of marks then you are eligible to give a essay paper of this exam if you fall under sc st or pwd category then your 10th examination percentage must be 65 percent so you are eligible to give your essay paper in kvpy examination or else if you are a 12th grader who had passed the 10th examination with at least 75 percentage of marks when your general category or 65 percentage of marks uh, when you fall under sc st or pwd then you can give kvpy sx paper To give your essay SX paper you must have chosen science stream in the higher studies you have enrolled in the first year of basic science courses in your undergrad and have passed your 12th examination with at least 60 percentage of marks and also your first year final examination with 60 percentage of marks then you can give the SB paper of KBBY or if you fall under SC ST or PWD Uh, category then you must have scored at least 50 percentage of marks the main motive of this exam is to test your conceptual understanding and analytical ability and also to make you inclined in research based activities in science the selection process of this exam is absolutely ridiculous and there are two rounds one is the aptitude test which is held online and the shortlisted students will be called for the second and the final round that is the interview test so the scholarship weightage goes like 75% based on your performance in aptitude test and 25% based on your interview test if you got shortlisted then boom you now got a brand on being kvpy scholar and now you are eligible for kvpy fellowship yeah you get stunning stipends in your undergrad or post grad no matter when you become eligible for this scholarship may it be during the 11th 12th or even during your first year at university but you can only avail the scholarship after enrolling in any of the basic science courses in the first second and third year of your undergrad or integrated post grad you get a monthly stipend of 5000 rupees oh that's a huge amount right and an annual contingency of about 20000 rupees which you shall claim it on your research uh, books or any other stationary expenses and during your fourth and fifth year of your integrated science courses you get a monthly 
stipend of 7000 rupees and an annual contingency of 28000 rupees and yes you heard it right that's awesome isn't it so not only this but you are more likely to get into iits iiss that is indian institute of science which is located in bangalore and iiser that is indian institute of science educational research uh, in its counseling with a brand of being a kvpy scholar Moving further let's take a look on its syllabus most of its questions are from ncert books of 10th 11th and 12th grade and also from the first year of college in sp paper and sx and sb question papers are the same you are allowed to select any three sections in part 1 and any two in part 2 so kvpy is in total of 100 marks uh you can give all the three atoms again and again namely in your 11th grade or 12th grade and also during your first year of university you have a plan of pursuing basic science courses then kvpy is waiting for you kvpy 2022 2023 is likely to be held in the first week of november 2022 and the official information will be updated soon in the official website of kvpy and you shall register it there uh, after the poll has been commenced and i'll make you updated very soon so this is what i wanted to share with you and mostly all of the competitive exams tests are conceptual understanding so just mugging up won't even help us just understand and study even you and me can crack it really i'm with this sheet fella i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up in some way can believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong